Let's take a quick look at stream sets for Databricks. This is a change data capture use case. I'm going to read the MySQL binary log with stream sets data collector, writing changes to Azure Event Hub so that many clients can pick those up. Now, one of those clients will be stream sets transformer. I'll read changes from the Event Hub with transformer and write them to Databricks Delta Lake. Let's take a look at the StreamSets data collector pipeline. Here, I'm using the MySQL binary log origin, and I'm uh, connecting to a cloud instance of MySQL, and I'm going to be reading just the demo taxi transaction table. So every change that occurs on that table will be read in by this pipeline. Now, now those include deletes, inserts, updates, and I'm gonna check that operation type because if it's a delete, I want to keep specific fields. If it's a delete, that primary key will come through as part of old data, and I also want the transaction type to pass on down the chain. Now I'm going to flatten that old data down into the root of the record and send the record on to Azure Event Hub. Now, if it is not a delete, I'm going to want to keep the new data in the uh, data node of the record, and then similarly flatten that down and again send it to uh, Azure Event Hub. Now, from Azure Event Hub, any number of clients can consume that feed of change notifications, but I'm using Transformer here, and it's a very much simpler pipeline. Now, Transformer allows me to build my pipeline in this UI, and then it's actually going to submit a job to run on Databricks. So this is crucial. The pipeline is not running on uh, my laptop or my own EC2 instance. It's actually gonna run in the Databricks cloud. So I'm uh, connecting to this URL on Databricks, and um, my uh, Azure Event Hub origin is going to read from the same Event Hub as I'm writing to. And then I'm going to write data to Delta Lake. Now let's take a closer look here. I'm going to be writing to a Delta Lake table, uh, writing files to this path, and I could use a number of different modes. I could be overwriting, appending, updating, deleting, but I'm actually going to use upsert, which is a great choice when I want to replicate changes from one location into another. Now, upsert needs a merge condition. So uh, how does it know whether to delete, update, or insert records? So that condition is that the original ID, the ID in the Delta Lake table, has to be equal to the ID on the incoming record. And then I've got some uh, merge clauses here. So when those two match and the update type is delete, I want to delete that record from Delta Lake. Conversely, when they match, but uh, the update type is anything else, then I want to update that record because I've got a match on that primary key. And if there isn't a match, it must be a new record. So I want to insert. So that's fairly straightforward. Now there's one more thing to look at here. I don't even need to uh, create a table manually in Delta Lake before I start. I can actually tell Transformer to do that for me. It will use the structure of the incoming record to uh, create a matching table. And I'm gonna call that taxi transaction. These are New York taxi uh, transaction records. So, uh, let's, uh, before we do anything else, take a quick look in uh, Delta Lake. And if I run uh, these two queries, I can see that uh, my table isn't there, okay? So I'm just verifying that I don't already have anything at all in Delta Lake. So let's start Transformer and let's start uh, Data Collector. So I'm now scanning the MySQL binary log. And recall, I'm looking for changes. I'm not gonna read any existing data from this table. And in any case, 
I don't actually have any data there. I'm starting off with a clean slate here. I've got no taxi transactions. So let's insert uh, 10 of those transactions. So we'll just hit that and let's verify here that we have uh, 10 records and we can have a quick look here. Okay, so we've got IDs from one to 10. Now, if we go back to a uh, data collector, just in a couple of seconds, uh, they'll be picked up from the binary log and then they'll go through this process and be sent to Azure Event Hub. Oh, there they are. And uh, if we go over to Event Hub now, similarly, uh, this right is occurring. We can see the little spinning gear there. So when that completes, we should see the record count uh, just down here hop up to 10. Oh, and there it is. So now over in uh, Delta Lake, if I run these uh, couple of cells again. So there we have 10 records in taxi transaction. And we can actually see the records down here. Now, if we take note of uh, number eight here, that has a vendor ID of CMT. Let's say that we determine that's an error and we update it over in uh, MySQL to uh, the other vendor, VTS. So we can do that very easily here in the MySQL workbench. So uh, let's have a look here. We can update where ID is eight. So one row has changed. Again, if we just uh, grab those records, we can see it's now uh, VTS instead of CMT here. And again, if we go across to the pipeline, oh, we can see it's already taken effect. So that 11th uh, record has passed through here and uh, it should be, yep, it's passed through here as well. And again here, if we just rerun here, so see number eight is CMT. We can run this cell and we should see that this table has been updated and now number eight is VTS. So we're synchronizing changes from um, MySQL over to Delta Lake. And just to close the loop here, um, I'm gonna do a delete, but just before I do that, I'll show you a little uh, insight into how we use StreamSets Data Collector almost as an IDE for building pipelines. So we can take a snapshot as a pipeline is running and say capture snapshot and this is going to capture the next batch of data that flows through the pipeline. So here we can go down, we can say okay I want to delete these four records one, two, five and seven from taxi transactions, so just hit that. So again if we look over here I should have six uh, rows remaining and uh, here they are. Now back over to um, data collector and in just a second or two this should capture that snapshot and let me have some insight into what's actually happening in the pipeline. Oh there it is. So we view and what happens is we can see the exact records coming from MySQL. So we can see here uh, we've got all of this uh, information here it's mostly metadata but we have the old row there in uh, the record there with the ID that's crucial for the delete here. Now it flows through the pipeline. All of these uh, match their delete condition. So we can see that stream one, they pass through because they match that condition that the operation type is delete. And so what happens is they flow through here and we can see the records changing. We're discarding all of this metadata that we don't need. and We're flattening it flattening it, so we're changing that structure, we're pulling all of those fields out of old data and putting them in the root of the record, and we can see exactly what's being written here to Azure Event Hub. And then over here, we should be able to see that, yes, there's been 15 records, and in Delta Lake, uh, we can run these again, so run all below here. We should see now that there are six records in Delta Lake, and there they are there. So we are picking up change data capture notifications from MySQL, writing them to Azure Event Hub, and then on to 
uh, Databricks Delta Lake. Thanks for watching.